So, when uh, regarding crossbreeds, for example, the pan dog or the, the bull or the, as I mentioned in my earlier videos, if you haven't checked them out, please do. You can have um, multiple crosses, uh, so like uh, multi generation crosses or multi breed crosses, but also just limited to two breeds and select those who have the, yeah, the consistency or the strengths, especially the strengths that you want if you want a working crossbreed that you would like. For example, um, if you look at the, the band dog, if you for example would have, like to have a compact band dog with uh, still a lot of the capabilities and uh, some man stopping power, you could look at uh, massive types that are uh, smaller but still working. Still working. For example, I would uh, look at a working uh, Rottweiler. Then, and you could look at a Bull and Terrier breed that's also smaller but still working. So, for example, you could look at uh, small game bred. Uh, uh, pit bulls or otherwise performance uh, pit bulls, perhaps pit bulls that are also used in uh, protection programs. Although it isn't the nature of a pit bull to be used as a human aggressive dog. Or, for example, look at smaller bull and terriers like a fatter bull terrier here. So you could, for example, use. Uh, uh, Rottweiler dam and sire it with a with a pedal sire and then get a dog. Goedemorgen. Oh yeah. And get a dog that is uh, is boat. Uh, yeah, a monster type of dog. As uh, as far as its mass and uh, also protective instincts go. Whereas you still have the agile the gladiator uh, parts, for example, from the Bull and Terrier uh, breeds that are very uh, confrontation oriented, orientated and also uh, don't back up, back out if the situation is not that uh, good. The Bull and Terrier breeds uh, easier stick to the plants and, and will protect even if it will cost him dearly his life for example. It's more the gladiator kind of dog. So you get a bigger gladiator type of dog that is not too big. I can imagine this cross to throw band dogs in the region of between 20 and 30 kilograms, perhaps some will be bigger. It also depends on the specimen that you use for this combination. And the other way around, the bull header, for example, you could get the same uh, or similar results, but in a lighter frame, if you would use instead of the uh, Rottweiler to produce a band dog. So a Molosse uh, Bull and Terrier cross, you could go for a Bull and Terrier uh, Mali Noyov or other herder cross. And I think uh, Petter de Okir Mali Noy could be the, uh, or for example Dutch Shepherd dog, could be a very good uh, cross. Very tenacious. Both dogs will be a lot more hyper as compared to the band dog uh, cross and also have less mass. That could be a drawback, but a lot of more agility, speed, endurance, which can also be very good if they have to cover large parts of ground. And because of the Petterdale influence, you get a dog that's still quite capable in a smaller frame. Which is, uh, if you compare, for example, an Australian uh, cattle dog with a uh, Belgian Malinois 
you see that the cat dog is a lot smaller, but has a lot of the same size. If you look at the paw structure, the, the bones, or the broadness of the paw, if you look at the head shape, you see that the, the width of the head and the width of the chest is a lot wider. And uh, one of the things I mentioned before, also in the Australian cattle dog, they introduce some bull blood. So you can see an example of a dog in a more compact and lighter frame, but still very capable and strong. I think that a better than my noir would give uh, dogs with a good head, good thick skin, still good paw length, and uh, excellent musculature, great agility, and great determination. So that would be a very nice uh, cross to take, especially if both of the parents are of uh, working stock. And uh, yeah, just could do the things that you would like them to do. And whereas if you would cross in the, the Rottweiler, instead of the Malinois, you would get a more laid back, less hyper dog. With good mass, you would uh, improve on the agility a lot from the Rottweiler and also you put it uh, more working uh, dog into it again. This is awesome of course, especially since the Rottweiler has not been used that extensively as a working dog lately. And still have uh, yeah, a very capable dog, also man stopping power. I think a lot of people uh, put too much uh, uh, attention to weight. You could have a, a very big dog that is not capable. And I'd rather have a smaller dog that is very capable. And also, for the size difference, you could keep two to three of these crosses instead of one or even uh, two of the pure Rottweilers. Also a thing to take into account that heterosis will often help a dog to perform better, but also you have to look at the characteristics if they suit you.